what is going on guys and welcome to a far cry video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at every single perk that's available in far cry now these perks are quite interesting because they're divided in five different categories and we'll go over each individual one explain which category will suit the best playing style and which ones do I think are the best ones to actually pick up? I will also have a video going over what are the best perks if you want to get money fast. So do expect that video to come out shortly. And also what are the best perks if you want to play, uh, you know, more stealthy and more, uh, you know, avoid some. So let's start off with the categories. For the categories, we have Survivalist, which is the top one. Then we have Renegade, which is the second one. We have Assassin, which is the third one. We have Prepper, which is the fourth one, and the fifth one coming over as leader. Of course, these are going to be very different and very on your playstyle. We're going to start off with the first one, which is the Survivalist. Pretty much the Survivalist is going to give you a lot of stuff. So we have the first one, which is called Human Fish. You can swim faster and hold your breath underwater longer. Also works in arcade mode. Uh, we have Fisher King, which is fish will tire more quickly. Also unlock new types of files in the fishing rod slot of the utility wheel for catching heavier fish you're also going to be able to repair torch now this is a repair torch the repair torch is added to your utility wheel used to, to open safes or to repair vehicles this is actually a really interesting one then we have king of the jungle reduce the animal attack damage predators accept judges prioritize nearby enemies over you prey animals flee less from you also works in arcade mode then we have the black market so craft uh, craftable remote explosives proximity explosives molotovs pipe bombs sticky upgrades and special ammo so you're going to be able to craft all these but not only that but you'll a be able to go to the store the general store and actually pick this up instead of just crafting them you can just go ahead and buy them then we have harvest master w loop rewards from the plants and animals we have health boost that's going to be uh, multiplied by one by four so that you have a health boost here health boost number two health boost number three and health boost number four so you can definitely go ahead stack up all these healths right here is a total of four different healths that you're able to stack up next category that we have is the renegade now this renegade is mostly available for you if you'd like to go be like a demolition man so if you want to go in guns blazing then this is the mode you're gonna this is pretty much the uh the perk or the perk slot that you're going to go with the renegade so we have the first one which is a parachute this will unlock a parachute and it'll deploy it by holding a while you're flying down this is another parachute but this instead of being a parachute it's a wingsuit so what this does it unlocks the wingsuit use it by pressing uh, ls down so left stick you're gonna press that down and switch between parachutes and wingsuits in mid-flight allowing you to cover more distance so for example if you're jumping off a plane or at high altitude you'll be able to glide a lot faster uh, using this one so not only does this one allow you to do the parachute but it also allows you to do the wingsuit as well we have airdrop which is unlocks the option to arrive by airdrop when you fast travel to a location so for example you want to move to if you're going to get fast travel and you actually don't want to go to that specific place but you want to go to a different area that's kind of by that place without having to walk you definitely uh you know buy this one and this will allow you to just get dropped off via air and you could maneuver your way out of there kind of like a fortnite glide if you guys uh, think about it then we have the vehicle buster which is bullets will do more damage to vehicles works best with armor piercing ammo so let them have fun also works in their cave so this is actually pretty good because if you want to go ahead and destroy vehicles this will allow you to you know pretty much destroy them just that you got to keep in mind that you're going to need to have armor piercing ammo you're not going to need it but it's going to be more effective with armor piercing ammo so keep that in mind then we have weapons pro so reload aim switch smgs and shotguns faster sway the bullet spread and reduce also works in arcade so this is going to be pretty much if you're going to be using a specific weapon like let's say you like shotguns and smgs if those are the weapons you're going to be going with then this is going to be a very viable one because it's going to allow you to switch them a lot quicker uh, which is kind of interesting but if you don't like the smg and you don't like the shotgun then the rest of these actually give you the ability to uh pick you know which type of weapon you like so you like uh, lmgs launchers and flamethrowers it will allow you to do the same thing with this uh, sort of category then we have auto repair so all vehicles you drive will automatically repair themselves also works in arcade so this is kind of interesting because sometimes uh, it, within the game you're getting shot or you know you're going through a long location and you want to get there quicker so you hop on a car and you probably you know go through roads or you get bumpy stuff and what's going to happen is your car's going to suffer damage this is going to allow you to actually repair the vehicle um automatically without you know you having to switch cars this could be very viable especially if you're moving through montana so definitely keep that one in mind then we have rifle master so this one is if you 
you know, if you like the rifles, so if you like the rifles and snipers, it's going to allow you to switch between rifles and snipers faster and sway and bullets per are reduced. So this is really, really good if you guys are into that type of archetype of weapon. Then we have saboteur. This is approach a vehicle, uh, vehicle's hood and hold X to set it on fire and make it explode 10 seconds later. So this is kind of like a booby trap or uh, a way to use this to kind of, you know, go to the car, set it up and to kind of flank around to like do a diversion. Very, uh, very effective. And next one, we have another, which was the body trap or the booby trap approach a vehicle hood and hold Y to make it explode on the next collision. So basically if someone is, uh, you know, running around, you can definitely just make it explode once it uh, hits another car. So really interesting, uh, you know, perks you have. So let's go move on to the assassins here. Now, this is, if you like to play stealthy, this is the tier that I look forward to because I love playing stealthy. Every game that I play, I love the whole, uh, you know, stealth aspect of it. So. I do like to go guns blazing, but stealthy is my way of approach. Maybe because I, I'm a big fan of Splinter Cell, so that could probably be it. So we have the first one, which is Assassin Grapple. Unlocks the grapple tool, find grapple spots in the world, and use uh, uh, RT and LT to climb up and down quickly. Now remember, the grapple the grapple ones are always labeled, uh, the grapple the grapple spots are always kind of like labeled, as you see here in the picture, it has a blue uh, color it so they're always going to be very visible within the map so it's going to be very accessible it's going to allow you to go to different places that you might not be able to go without a grapple hook so really a really interesting one to uh collect next up we have the nimble fingers this is a uh it's now quicker to craft items sabotage or booby trap vehicles disable alarms and open saves so this is going to allow you to get stuff done faster okay so for example if you're opening up a safe if you're opening up a door or if you're trying to craft an item, this is going to make it that much easier for you to actually be able to do that. Then we have Sneaky Sprint. Move much faster while still standing crouch. Also works in arcade mode, which is really cool because you're going to be able to have that, uh, you know, stealth approach to the game without being heard. So it makes it really interesting. Really good to move around the map and diverse, even if you not just want to sneak and kill someone. Just if you want to get a area without getting spotted. Then we have the Master Blaster. Now this one tells the amount of composition needed to craft. Remote proximity explosive is reduced by 50%. Help sip. Uh, so this one's actually only unlocked via a quest. So basically you're going to have to complete a quest, which is help sip at the Koopa Ranch in Holland Valley to unlock this perk. So this perk will become unlocked once you complete that side of the mission, which is really nice that they have some of these perks locked, uh, you know, for a specific side quest. So that makes it really, really interesting. So this was uh, takedown a master. So it says unlock chain, melee throws, and sidearm takedowns. Takedown ranges increase. So basically, you can now instead of just taking down people, you know, by the neck, you're gonna be actually able to take them down with uh, chains, melee throws, and sidearms, which makes it really interesting. Then we have Primal Mastery, which is uh, you can reload, aim, and switch bows and slingshots faster. Also works in arcade mode. So you're probably wanting slingshots. Yes, guys, the game does have slingshots. Really fun and dynamic uh, weapon. Next, we have Close Combat Master. So melee weapons are more sturdy. Reload, uh, aim, and switch handguns and melee weapons faster. So this is going to allow you to switch, uh, you know, your little, you know, hand cannon and your melee weapon a lot quicker. Swing and bullet spreads are reduced. Also work in arcade mode. So I don't know why this one's not in the top one because it's kind of very similar uh, to the top perks that we have for the other weapons. But this is more for a melee weapon and a uh, sidearm. Next up, we have Locksmith. Stealthy lock picking safes and doors that do not require a key card with X. So this is going to allow you to open a door, open a safe. And it's very important in the game that you search a lot because you're going to need a lot of currency to buy stuff. So in order for you to do that, you're going to definitely need the locksmith uh, perk. And uh, you're going to definitely want to watch my video on how to get money fast. And it's going to, you know, this perk is going to be very valuable for that. Next up, we have throwback. So throwback is basically what we have in the majority of the games. If someone throws a grenade at us, we'll be able to throw the grenade or dynamite back right back at them. Then we have ghost. So as you, the name says, is you make less noise when walking, sprinting, and landing. Fall damage is also reduced. Also works in arcade mode. Probably, if you're wondering what the heck arcade mode is, I'll definitely have a uh, thorough kind of guide over the arcade mode. So I'll let you guys know exactly how that works. Next up, guys, we're moving up to the prepper. So this is just pretty much the name says it all. It's going to allow you to be prepared when it comes time to go into those battles. So this is going to allow you to carry more handgun ammo and more melee weapons. Also works in arcade mode. You have a journey pack, which is carrying more items in your inventory. Includes up to five medkits. Also works in arcade mode. So it's just going to allow you to carry just more stuff that you have with you. Uh, just to give you a bigger backpack. 
we have carry more SMG and shotgun ammo. There's just uh, pretty much all of these guys are just to carry more ammo. So this is gonna allow you to carry more more arrows. This is gonna allow you to carry more rifle ammo. This is gonna allow you to carry more explosive throwing knives and baits. This is gonna allow you to carry more armor piercing, incendiary, and special rocket launcher ammo. This is gonna allow you to carry more LMG, flamethrower, rocket launcher, and grenade launcher ammo. And this is the interesting one because this is going to allow you to carry third weapon of any type in your wheel. So as you guys know, currently right now, you're only, when you start off the game, you're only able to carry two weapons, which are either your hand cannon and your, you know, your primary weapon. Now, if you want to use a bow, you have to decide which you want your primary, if you want your bow. But with this one, it's going to allow you to carry three weapons uh, with uh, with that option. So you can carry a bow, a um or you can carry a sniper, SMG, and a shotgun. So it's all depending on what you know, type of arsenal you want. But this is going to uh, let you unlock the third weapon. And this one is also going to let you unlock the uh, the fourth weapon. But first, you got to unlock this one to actually obtain a fourth weapon in the slot. Making you even more deadly than just having three weapons. Uh, and the last one we have is leader. So you know the game has a option where it allows you to have a companion with you. So for example, if you want to uh, have someone that's gonna, uh, they're called leaders that help you, uh, you know, kind of play throughout the game. If you're playing single player, it's gonna allow you to be able to use different characters. So over here, we're gonna, this one in particular is the leader bomber. So bomber returns faster after being injured. So if he gets injured, he'll be able to come back. But this one is, uh, you're gonna have to unlock it first in order for you to be able to access this one. So this is gonna be able to unlock by help boomer at the Ra Ra pumpkin farm in Holland land to unlock it as a fang for hire. Then we have the uh, sharky, which is another leader. So this is, you have to also unlock him. Uh, once you unlock him, he'll be able to return faster after being injured as well. This one is uh, uh, Peaches, which is he returns faster after being injured as well. You get, all of these you're going to be able to have to unlock first. Jess returns faster after being injured. And then we have Grace returns faster after being injured as well. And then we have Herc uh, returns faster after being injured. All of these are the same thing, guys. Nick Ryle returns faster. And I'll have a kind of like in-depth video going over, uh, you know, what the leaders are, what their perks are, and, uh, you know, which one could be more effective for what type of scenario in a future video. So if you'd like to see that video, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And then we have this one. She'll return faster. We have Cheeseburger. But Cheeseburger is just amazing, bro. You guys are gonna, definitely going to want to see what that the gameplay on that one. And, of course, we have the last one, which is called Leadership, which is unlocking additional slots. So, for example... Right now, in the, currently in the game, you're only able to have one leader when you're playing. But if you want to have more than one leader, then you're able to unlock this one. And this is going to give you a additional leader. So you're going to be able to have two two people running alongside with you and kind of helping you out. So you could have, um, you know, you could have Cheeseburger and you could have, you know, him or, you know, you could do any sort of combination that you want. And that pretty much, guys, wraps around all the perks that are currently in the game. Let me know which perks stood out to you the most. Which one do you think you're going to definitely want to unlock first? Like I said, I will have a video telling you guys what are the best perks to do if you want to collect money fast. I will also go have a video going over the leaders in the game. We'll have a video going over all the different weapons, character customizations. So if you guys want to get full Far Cry 5 coverage, definitely make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. Subscribe for a lot of Far Cry content. And don't forget, guys, for all things Far Cry, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.